So let's get started. One of the first things we need to do first is actually align the part to the digitizer device. So let's go up and select the DesignWorks alignment tool. The alignment can be done in two modes, express or advanced. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use advanced because we want to align it to a specific item on the part. We're first going to digitize a few points to create our base plane. Now we're going to select like an X direction. Again, we're lining this in a specific manner. A Y direction. In this case, we want the origin at a certain position, and we're going to say the center of uh, this circle. Notice that the design works alignment is stored in the feature tree. It allows the user to store a part then move to a second, third, and fourth part without ever losing their alignment. So let's select the front plane and let's outline our part. We're going to start a new sketch. DesignWorks is totally compatible with SolidWorks and is actually a gold partner. So let's first outline it so you, the viewers, can see an outline of the part. We're simply going to press the line command in DesignWorks and you're going to notice for the SolidWorks users, this looks just like the normal sketch tools. So let's go ahead and start outlining our part. We can use multiple functions or skip around however we want. In this case, I'm going to skip around the part so you can actually start seeing what I'm doing. We have some profiles that look like lines and some profiles that look like arcs and circles. So let's go here and grab the top area. Let's grab this whole outside top. DesignWorks can actually perform functions by manual depressing the arm or a best fit. In this case, I'm just going to take it by three points. Now, the nice thing about this, we can add our constraints on the fly as well as trim and extend. Let's get one more area down here in this bottom area. There's another, looks like an arc in there. We'll take this area too. This session here, we're going to show you the best fit tool. It allows you to press the button once and simply drag it. And it does a best fit based on multiple points. If you don't like what you're taking, you can hit the back button, remove some of the points, and move forward. Now we have one area that's got a freeform shape. We're going to use our spline tool here, and we can either drag that, or we can take it in a best fit mode. I think in this case, since it's a very thin area, I'm going to take it in single point, and I actually can um, do it the way I want to drag it. Again, the curve command allows me to do this because an arc or a line would not fit that. This fits a curve through multiple data points. And we'll just do this side. Now, so for some of you out there, you're thinking, why couldn't we mirror this? We could if we actually knew the center line. So let's go ahead and we'll finish trimming this up. And then we'll extrude it. Then we'll jump on to some freeform surfacing. Because DesignWorks complies with all the SOLIDWORKS functions, we can go ahead and add some constraints. I'm going to make these two items fixed. I don't want them to move. Then I'm going to go ahead and trim some items. I'm possibly going to make this fixed as well. So as a SOLIDWORKS user, let's go in and trim these up. We'll use the SOLIDWORKS trimming tool. In this case, I might use a trim to close this. What's unique in SOLIDWORKS is you can trim splines even. So I'm going to come down here and say trim to closest. I can grab this edge and slide it over here and pull this right down. This is unique to most systems. So again, we can pull this over here. And we repeat on the other side. Now you're going to notice some of these entities are black. That conforms to the SOLIDWORKS constraints. The reason why we did that, we didn't want them to slide too much. Now we can go ahead and simply use the power trim, and trim this up, and use the geometry we want to use down here. Now we can go ahead and utilize the DesignWorks extrude feature. 
we're going to go ahead and extrude this down to a depth that we want to use with the digitizer. DesignWorks has our cut and extrude built in. So we can say extrude down to an area. Notice all the features are in the SOLIDWORKS feature tree. They can be modified and changed. So in this instance, if we didn't like the thickness of this part, we could change it. It's 1.664. We could make it nominal, 1.625. The key here is DesignWorks integrated with SOLIDWORKS allows you to do feature-based reverse engineering. Now we're going to talk about a freeform surface area. This area in here. This is something you couldn't measure even um, without a coordinate measure machine or a portable device. So SOLIDWORKS, conjoined with DesignWorks, has multiple sketch functions. We're going to utilize the 3D sketch in SOLIDWORKS. DesignWorks is functional in a SOLIDWORKS 2D sketch, 3D sketch, and an assembly. We're first going to go up here and use the 3D tool in DesignWorks for a curve. We're going to outline this top area. So we're going to actually do this in manual mode or we can do it in bezel fit. In this case, manual mode is going to allow us to take this data where we want it. This round area up in here doesn't need a lot of data, but in this lower side, we need a lot more data. So again, this gives the user full control. I'm depressing the button on the device to take more data where I want. As you can see, in some areas, I spread it out. And again, one of the features of DesignWorks is the availability to work in a 3D sketch. We're actually going to actually close that command. There's our 3D sketch. Notice you can see this is a domed shape. Now we'll simply utilize the SOLIDWORKS surface tools. And we're going to utilize the fill surface. This is a very unique tool. It allows us to pick the boundary of a, of a sketch, in this case 3D, and actually fill in the boundaries. So you can see how quickly you can perform prismatic parts such as cuts and extrudes and freeform surfaces. We conclude this session of DesignWorks TV and look and see you next week. Thanks.